Hello and welcome to the walkthrough video of the 2.0 update for Project Sam's Lumina, third volume in our Symphobia series. I am Martin of Project Sam and in this video I will show you what's new in this major update. After True Strike, Symphobia 1 and Symphobia 2, Lumina is the fourth library to get our exciting 2.0 treatment. Lumina focuses on the more fantastical, magical side of film scoring. And of all the libraries we released over the years, Lumina has always been a personal favorite of mine. It was a lot of fun to prepare and record, and it's packed with musical gems from the lush orchestrated ensembles that can really form the basis of an entire composition, to the many textures and phrases that will really add that nice finishing touch to an existing production. So this makes me very excited to share this update with you. You will find a new 2.0 design, the all-in-one browser with useful filtering, extensive articulation control, a new legato engine, adaptive sync, and new multis. Some of the new 2.0 features I have already covered in my walkthrough videos for Symphobia 1 and 2. I'll link to those below. In this video, I will focus on the features and elements that are most relevant for Lumina specifically. Let's take a closer look. Like the other libraries that received our 2.0 treatment, Lumina is now an all-in-one library as well. In the new in-instrument browser, you can access all instruments, articulations and multis. You can filter by instrument category. And you can browse by specific articulations, loading just that articulation with all the other samples purged. Multis, called stories in earlier versions of Lumina, all have a neat little music preview that you can play by clicking the speaker icon. And all multis that you've come to love are here, fully recreated, such as Freaky Fair. Majestic. Or New Soul. We also created 11 new multis for Lumina 2.0. This is Witchcraft and Wizardry. And this one is Cult Meeting. don't think that was about finance. While we're here, this is the multi view, which allows you to control these global effects for all the instruments that are part of the multi. You can go to the previous or next multi using the big arrows, and to access the controls for each individual instrument using the main interface, you have to unlock the multi first over here. Unique to the Lumina browser is the extra genres tab up here. This allows you to browse the library by genre or style, and you'll get both individual instruments as well as multis in the results on the right. So if you're not entirely sure what specific sound you're looking for, but you do know the general atmosphere you're going for, this is a cool extra feature to have at your disposal. All right, let's load a single instrument, the Fantasy Ensemble, and take a look at the main interface of Lumina 2.0. This is the performance view. It's one of the four views that you can switch between up here. I have my real-time microphone controls here on the left. 
and I can morph between the three mic positions. I can load a single mic only, or customize the mic gains and outputs by clicking the mic view toggle over here. In the middle, I have the main articulations for the selected instrument. We call this the articulation grid. I can switch between articulations using key switches, or use a CC controller instead. I can unload specific articulations from RAM by command or control clicking. And I can stack articulations by holding down shift. Now the pizzicato and tremolo both articulations triggering. are both triggering. Some articulations are available in multiple variations. These are then listed over here on the right. This swirls articulation, for example, has a bunch of long performances. as well as shorter ones. And here too, I can set up a controller to switch between the variations if needed. All instruments and articulations allow you to change the dynamic controller over here and offer these four quick controls to adjust volume, attack, release and reverb. Now all of these controls are unique per articulation and per instrument. You probably spotted it earlier when I showed some of the multis. Down here, you can load multiple instruments into these mixer slots. And for each of these instruments, you can fully customize any of the controls that you see above. And this becomes particularly useful in combination with the mapping view, the second view up here. You now have very deep control over the mapping of the sounds on the keyboard. You can change the position of an articulation, and you can trim its range like this. So say I enable both the pizzicato as well as the tremolo articulations in the grid. I can now shift the pizzicato articulation to the left so that it's next to the tremolo articulation. And if I want, I can remove the bottom octave of the tremolo so that it has the same starting pitch as pizzicato. And now I can perform it like this. And this is exactly how we created the 30 multis in Lumina 2.0. And we'd like to invite you to create your own. And although you cannot add them to this browser, you can save them as snapshots and access them in contact as well as complete. In the previous version of Lumina, there was a special set of instruments that we called split sections. These were textures and phrases that we recorded with the full orchestra as well as with individual orchestral sections. And this gives you more choice and control over the size and color that you need. In Lumina 2.0, we renamed these instruments to orchestrations. And you can find them right here in the browser. As you can see, they have a slightly different set of controls. Each orchestration offers you the full orchestra performance at the top. With the available individual sections below. Here's another orchestration. And another. There's a lot of lovely gems in here. And all orchestrations have a speed control on the right to freely speed up or slow down the performance. 
Another specific instrument type in Lumina that is worth visiting is the legatos. Lumina features 10 beautiful solo legato instruments. And for the 2.0 update, the legato engine has been fully rewritten. It sounds more natural and allows for faster playing than before. My personal favorite is the alto flute. The recorders are also very pretty. This is the soprano recorder. And then there's the solo soprano voice that I'm sure you'll recognize from the Lumina trailer. There's a bunch of legato settings that you can customize. Most importantly, you can enable or disable legato hop back, which is the engine returning to the previous note if that note is still held down. This is with... And this is without hopback. You can also change the gap that's allowed to be in between notes for the engine to consider it legato, which can be useful when you quantize notes in your sequencer. Lumina 2.0 also has vastly improved support for the native control standard, NKS. You can navigate all instruments, search and filter, and control the most important parameters directly from your favorite native instrument's hardware. The mixer slot, the articulation, the microphone mix, reverb, and more. About updating. If you're updating from an earlier version of Lumina, there's a few things that are good to know. Updating does not delete the old versions of the instruments. The old NKI files will still be there in the familiar subfolders, and they will also still load without any problems. However, after updating, you do need to load them in Contact or Contact Player 6. So this is the case not only for the new all-in-one instruments, but for the old instruments as well. If you have existing sequencer projects that have Lumina instruments loaded into Contact 5, these tracks will not reload after updating you'll have to go over these tracks and replace them with Contact 6. You can then load whatever Lumina instrument, old or new, in there. There's unfortunately no way around this. Finally, if you don't need the old instruments anymore, feel free to delete these subfolders. The all-in-one NKI file is the only file that you really need and the only one that offers the 2.0 experience. And that's it, a good overview of Lumina version 2.0, a major update to a unique and very inspiring library. We hope you'll enjoy the new features and possibilities, and I wish you happy composing. Thank you for watching.